Hey guys, it's Keely, and today I'm going to start doing a little something different with my wrap-ups. So I usually do monthly wrap-ups, and I absolutely love doing monthly wrap-ups. I think it's a good way to just like finish the month and then just talk about everything that happened in the month. But because my last wrap-up was just like super random, and I don't know what my schedule is going to be like for like the rest of the year. I'm just going to do wrap ups for every five books that I read and I am reading a lot so far so it might actually make the wrap up shorter and more people might want to watch them because they won't be like a million years long. So I'm going to go over the first five books that I've read since my last wrap up. So let's go. The first book I have to talk about is The Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan. This is book two in the Kane Chronicles trilogy. This is an older Rick Riordan series. Um, and it's different because it is Egyptian mythology. He has done a bunch of the other mythologies. If you don't know, you should read Rick Rowan. He's amazing. But this one's Egyptian mythology, and it follows two siblings, Carter and Sadie, and they grew up apart when something happened when they were little, and suddenly something is happening in their lives which causes them to get back together and try to save the world, basically. So because this is a sequel, I can't go over what the synopsis is about, but basically, Egyptian mythology, super awesome, and I ended up giving it four out of five stars. The next book I have here is The Serpent's Shadow by Rick Riordan. This is the third and final book in the Kane Chronicles trilogy, and once again, I enjoyed it so much. The first book in the trilogy, I wasn't super hooked. Like, I just didn't feel the way I did about his other series so I didn't pick up the sequel and the third book for like another year or so but when I did I got so into them and I went through them so quickly they were just so captivating like all of Rick's books are um once again can't tell you what this one is about because it is the third one but I gave it four out of five stars as well I really did end up enjoying the series it definitely isn't my favorite Rick Riordan series but I still enjoy it also I just have to say this is probably my favorite favorite book cover ever not just of rick's books but like ever i've always loved this cover even before i read the series but yeah four to five stars next book i read was i'll give you the sun by jandy nelson now i did do a reading vlog for this book so i will link that down below so you can go and see my in-depth thoughts as i was reading it but i love this book so so much this follows twins jude and noah and their chapters are from different years. So Noah's chapters are from when they were 13 and Jude's chapters are from when they were 16. And something in between those years happened to where they don't talk, they're not friends, they don't like each other, and we're trying to see what happened and just put the pieces back together. So I did not like 13 year old Jude at all. I didn't start liking Jude until the end when the story started coming together and I kind of like saw everything from every point of view but I loved Noah the entire way. 13 to 16. I love Noah so much. He's one of my favorites and he's just the sweetest little cinema role that deserves the world but I just I loved him so much and the story in here and how everything just made sense at the end. I really want a companion novel for Noah in this series because or in this book because I just love Noah so much but I gave it a five out of five stars I cried and I loved it the next book I read was love life and the list by Casey West this follows a girl named Abby who is in this friend group there are four of them in the friend group but two of them are leaving the country for the summer so she gets to spend the summer with her absolute best friend of the group Cooper who she loves and she confessed her feelings to him last year and he just kind of blew it off like she was joking about it and she was like oh yeah I was totally joking did you really think I actually liked you but so they have to spend the entire summer together after that and it's just you know a typical young adult contemporary and I am a sucker for love stories and the best friend to lovers trope favorite I love that trope so so much but I ended up giving this one five out of five stars I loved Abby and I loved Cooper it was just it was just so great and I love that Abby's an artist in this because you don't see that much as a hobby in young adult so I really liked it which is funny because and I'll give you the sun um they're artists too so I like read two back to back about artist main characters but like I said it was great and I definitely want to read more of Casey West and the final book I have to talk about here is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. this is 
a giant contemporary book. It's definitely her biggest. Um, I've read all of her other books and I have to say this is my least favorite. Not that I didn't like it, but it's definitely my least favorite. I gave all the other ones five out of five stars and I gave this one three and a half out of five stars. The thing is, I did not like Andy, the main character. So let me just get into what this book is about. It follows Andy, who her dad is a congressman and this big scandal happens that ruins Andy's plans for the entire summer. She was like super smart going to this huge medical program and they ended up kicking her out because of the scandal. So she has to figure out her plans and what's gonna happen and she ends up meeting this guy named Clark and I really love Clark. I really liked him and he was just a great guy, but I did not like Andy at all. Not one bit throughout this entire book did I like Andy. Um, I didn't like most of her friends. I liked them more than I liked Andy, but I just did not like Andy at all, um, which was sad because it was a really big, big book. But I love Morgan Matson and I still just love her writing style so much and the gist of her stories are great too. But like I said, I gave this one three and a half out of five stars. So those are the five books that I have to talk about in this wrap up. Let me know if you enjoy this new wrap up style that I'm doing. It definitely goes by quicker and it gives you a better look into each book. Um, but I did love these books. They are great. Some of them better than others. But yeah, let me know what you've been reading and I will see you next time. Bye!